We've seen it over the last 24 years of courageous citizens who intervene on bad behavior to save others not only in the ground, on the water, but also in the air. Courage has become a very inspiring tool to emphasize the importance of doing the right thing without being recognized for the wrong reasons. We need to really look back at what courage is about and why we need to continue maintaining that compassion for courage. Your attitude and boundaries with your character are equally as important as, as the behavior you display in front of and around others. Don't be fooled by, by somebody's smiles. They could actually indicate they want to plan something evil. Don't get involved in that stuff. I've seen all too often this type of bad behavior go out the window. And evil can never discriminate. Evil can range from the first to sixth degree burns. And every time that people suffer opens a new type of burn. From cork popping, roadkill ripping, ragdoll throwing, gasoline tanker charring, fascia foaming, or marrow melting. Those are your six categories of the degrees of burns of evil that people suffer on a daily basis and how their trauma can impact everyone and the whole nation of armed citizens. We need to really look inside ourselves at what we can do to go back and make everything better the way it was. Look at every circumstance. Look at the settings that you're living in by. Don't try to take over the circumstances if they're not in your favor. Sometimes you can actually be a victim of your own vulnerability if you're not taking care of the circumstances that aren't in your setting. We need better support and better direction. We need better, we need to have proper etiquette and elegance when it comes to this excitement. Discipline that excitement. Understand that there's no playing of games. Emphasize the importance of what it takes to become ladies and gentlemen of courage. How you can earn that respect through the strength, loyalty, and discipline and disciplinary sacrifice you bring to this table. Get rid of something that you want that others need the most. I've done a few of those. Hope other people can lead by the proper example. And it's not about acting with courage and compassion. It's about behaving with courage and compassion. And we shouldn't be using the terms acting or behaving interjectably. We need to stop using the words act like an adult to behave like a lady or a gentleman. We got to use better terms and better lingo so we can emphasize the familiar, so we can familiarize with those terms whenever trouble comes flying in our direction. Just remember, you've got a lot of blessings to be thankful for. Don't throw that compassion out the window. And even people who are struggling through these difficult scenarios, Don't you abandon your courage and you don't ever abandon us.